In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add snow to your photos. Hey folks, Danny Diamond here. You can see more of my work on my Facebook page, Danny Diamond Photography. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom brush for these snowflakes. But I will also be providing a download link for this brush. So you should be able to just download it, double click on the brush, and it should open up the custom brush in Photoshop. But I will also be showing you guys how to make it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a new layer like this the snow will be non-destructive to the photo and you'll be able to bring down the overall opacity at the end. You also want to make sure that the brush panel is showing. If it's not, just go to Windows and click Brush. Make sure your brush is selected and now we're gonna be going through the different steps to create this custom brush. Under Brush Tip and Shape, bring your roundness down to 50, your hardness to 15, and your spacing to 400. Uh, make sure spacing is clicked here and then go to shape and dynamics bring your size jitter all the way up your pen pressure turn that off under the minimum diameter you could put that at 25 percent and the angle jitter make that 30 percent make sure the control is off on all of these under scatter click this box over here and bring the scatter all the way up to the highest Turn off the control and the count, I'm just going to leave it at 1. This depends on your file size that you're working on. You could fool around anywhere between 1 and 10. Um, okay, um, uh, actually we're going to go to transfer and bring the opacity all the way up. Make sure the control is off and we should be good to go now. Let's check out this brush. Don't forget to play around with your brush size till it looks right. This is the important part, making sure that you guys have um, snowflakes sitting in her hair. Because if this was shot when it was snowing, then she would have snow all over her hair. Okay, so I'm going to go to scattering. Um, yeah, leave that at 1. Go to transfers. I'm going to bring down the opacity jitter. And let's zoom in a little more. And add some snow. That was a little too many over there. Just put some sitting in her hair. Put some over here. Put a couple there. Let's put some on top. And let's take a look at that. That looks pretty good to me. Now you could bring down the overall opacity on the entire layer if you feel the snow is a little too strong. It's all personal preferences. I'll probably put this at about 85. That looks good to me. Um, yeah, that's that's how we do it, guys. So here's with and without the snow. You guys have been asking me for this tutorial for a while now, so I'm glad I finally got it out there. Um, don't forget to tag me in the photos on Facebook. I'd love to see what you guys are going to do with this.